OTAs again mentioned uh, the defense very well represented in this week's round of OTAs and one guy uh, that showed up, Miles Garrett. And um, Garrett talked about the importance of the defense being there uh, just because there's so many new guys. As a uh, really D line and kind of as a defense, you know, we decided we need to, to be there to, to work with the younger guys, you know, get some just work in with the coaches and, and uh, for everyone to be able to get on get on the bags, work on their technique, get on some cleats and helmet. I know it's been a while for for some of these guys. So just being able to, to do that, work on your craft a little bit and uh, work on the plays and so it kind of flows a little bit more seamless than if we were to take such a long extended break from each other and not know each other's tendencies and know how we are on the field. Best news that came out of today, Miles Garrett says he feels as good as he did pre-COVID. That's, yeah, that's phenomenal news because uh, we know that, uh, you know, Miles came down with COVID during the season and then came back and just didn't look right. You know, didn't look himself, looked like he was winded on the sidelines and and he was obviously dealing with uh, COVID ramifications. So, number one, great that he feels uh, tremendous. Number two, terrific that he shows up to OTAs. I mean, I... I don't hold it against a veteran if he doesn't show up for OTAs, especially in the in the era of COVID. But to have your your big money man, you know, one of your big money men show up and uh, be a leader like that uh, can only help.